Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for my third and final haul video for my biggest haul ever, 34 pounds. So up next, um, this is a really special item to me. This is a Zeddy bear. So if you don't know Z Zeddy, Zeddy was the mascot for Zellers, which was a um, cheaper department store in Canada. It operated for a long time. It was owned by um, HBC, the, the Bay, Hudson's Bay Company. Uh, I did work for them for a little while. Um, so yeah, they have some sort of, you know, they have cute memorabilia um, mugs and pins and things like that. So yeah, um, usually this would come with um, clothing. So I think in this case it's supposed to come with a scarf. I did look. I, I couldn't find the scarf in the bins, um, but it still has his hat. And then, yeah, he's, you know, he looks in great condition. One of his paws says that he, he's still super soft. Um, yeah, and he still has his little tag as well. So, yeah, just this was really fun. You know, I might hold on to this for a little while and just be happy until it sells. Up next, we have a lot of another quilt. I think this is the last one. Um, shout out to the fire sellers for encouraging their audience to purchase um, quilts and things. So yeah, this is a true quilt. Mm, I think this is this is um this is from a company. It's not it's not handmade, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's very cute. It says peekaboo, lovely like pastel colors. Um, sweet dreams. Did I get that? No, love there, and then sweet dreams here. Um, this is not uh, double-sided, just the one side. Um, but yeah, a super cute item for a um, kid's bedroom or your um, spare room. Up next, we have some really unique items. Um, you know, everybody knows a bright yellow raincoat, but what about like a heavy duty uh, technical yellow raincoat set? So here we go. This is like a fisherman's um, dock worker's uh, raincoat. Um, the brand here is called Dry Dock um, by Wet Skins. Um, I've checked, it's in great condition. Um, it's definitely like a men's sizing. I definitely would be listing this on eBay. Um, and then I also picked up the, um, the rain pants as well. So yeah, I'm hoping those will sell for like 60 to 80 bucks. This is another really unique item. This is a very, very heavy layered sweater. So the exterior is all wool. You can see there that um, green pattern. Uh, it's got two pockets. And this is called Laundromat, the brand Laundromat. Um, I did have to look this up because I, I did not know anything about it. Um, it does cinch down at the waist. It does cinch down at the top with drawstrings. Um, great strong zipper. The tags are intact. Um, it's made in Nepal, and yeah, there's definitely uh, some very strong comps for this. It, this is definitely like a very heavy-duty sweater, jacket, um, it's all lined on the inside. And yeah, so um, yeah, 100% wool, 100% polyester, handmade in Nepal. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a really unique item that I might have to hold on to until it sells for the, the price that it, sh that it deserves. It's, it's a heavy guy. It's, it's definitely, you know, four or five pounds. Alright guys, we're at the last bag. This is the fun items, I think. Does anybody have this problem where they don't bring enough bags to the bins? Um, and then so you end up using your, your biggest bag for all the little items, and then like the bigger items like quilts and other bedding and big big sweaters, jackets, kind of just get into your car on their own. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a girl's dress, an uh, infant dress. Uh, again, I just said I don't usually pick this stuff up, but I was like, this is cute. Um, definitely Disney, but it's like a very cute Disney pattern. Just that classic 
um, Winnie the Pooh on the bottom. And then, yeah, just a very nice, like, sky scene on the top. So I thought, this is great. It's so little, so light. Let's take a chance and see how it does. This is another Roots Canada item. It's always great to get Roots. People really are very brand loyal to Roots. Um, and Roots Vintage is very in. So yeah, this is a deep purple maroon. Um, 1973 Roots Canada Pond Hockey. Uh, that doesn't mean it was made in 1973. It means that it's just, you know, uh, that's the, the style. Um, so yeah, it just has a really nice um, crest on the front. And yeah, it's in great condition. Um, it's got that roots tag on the red, on the bottom waist. Yeah, I think it's a really great item. Up next, we have this floral, very 70s, um, very 70s blouse. Again, I'm a little more leery about blouses because they are sort of a dime or dozen. Um, but yeah, this is Wrangler. Uh, no, no tears, no rips, no stains. I'll take it. Again, another baby item, but I really couldn't pass up Tigger, and it says, hello, sleepyhead, button up, um, it's in really good condition, no major stains, it's like footy pajamas, so yeah, I had to get this. Up next, we've got a, a brand I haven't picked up before, a mod cloth, cardigan. Um, ribbed. Yeah, we'll see how uh, how it sells. Oh, more baby items. Um, yeah, this like rainbow crocheted, uh, what would you call this? Like something you stick at the end of your bed, you know? It's like maybe a foot wide. Yeah, so I thought crocheted, that's cute. My first Squishmallow, how cute. Uh, no tag, but it's definitely, it was very easy for me to find it online. So I think that that hopefully should go quickly. A baseball hat, again, I am not into baseball hats, but um, I, I recognize the polo right away, um, Ralph Lauren polo. Um, I thought it was just a pin that I could remove. I do, I do have a small collection of pins that I'm selling, um, but no, this was like, um, on very t firmly to the hat. So yeah, I've got the hat now. Um, I think it is a one size fits all hat. I am just looking now and I see that it, it's a little bit ripped, but I might be able to fix that. Purses, uh, I've already shown you one or two bags. Um, I've been leery on picking up purses at the bins, um, but it was a weekday and so I thought, let's give it a shot. Um, so we've got this great like plaid pink um, black hardware um, purse. Uh, it's Nine West. Again, a brand that I haven't sold before, but it was in really great shape. Honestly, it doesn't even look like it's been open. It's I just realized that it still has the um, uh, the loops on the, on the inside. Um, I thought those were not with it, <laughs> so I'm really happy to see that. Yeah, um, looks like a bag that's in really great shape. I think maybe we're seeing more brand new items come into Goodwill because people are getting things for Christmas that they don't love, um, but they either can't return it or they can't tell their family that they don't like it, so it just ends up at Goodwill. Um, another purse, or maybe like a um, accessories bag, uh, Kate Spade. Yeah, so yeah, it's got that Kate Spade um, dongle on it. Um, <laughs> opens up, nothing special in the inside, um, but I just thought this is a really cute item. Um, probably sell as part of a bundle on Poshmark. Up next, we've got Zara. Um, this is their part of their accessories. Um, so this is sort of like a long like duster um, house coat robe. Um, again, like a lovely sort of vintage Asian sort of um, kimono, very beautiful. I think it's very cute. Up next we have a British brand. Um, so this is Sandwich. They're based out of the UK. Um, and this is, uh, I think, 30% mohair. Mohair is gaining in popularity right now. 
yeah so 30% nylon 30% mohair 40% acrylic um, but yeah these natural fibers are really gaining in popularity as people see their durability and their um, their warmth uh, so we've got another new with tags item here so this is that second camo hat that I was telling you about um, this is a Denzel I had to look this up um, this seemed like the comps were good on it. Pants. I don't pick up pants very often. Does anybody find it overwhelming going through jeans at thrift shops? I do. Um, maybe because it's Canada and we don't see a lot of brands that you guys down in the States do. Um, so it doesn't really seem that worth it right now to me to do it. Anyways, um, these are Lisette Montreal, a uh, Quebec designer. Um, they do have a bit of white, but I did double check. Um, they seem in very good shape. They're sort of a bird leaves pattern. Um, and those aren't wrinkles. That's, that's part of the fabric is that it is like ruched or I don't know what the, what the name is. Um, you'll tell me what it is. Um, it, they do have these little charms that they've um, put in. Um, very cute. Very fashionable. Um, and a very good quality Canadian item. Scarves. Scarves are a missed opportunity for resellers. Um, especially at places like even Value Village. I know people uh, have their concerns with Value Village. Um, their scarves are not that overpriced. Um, and sometimes you'll find wool thrown in there. Um, this is a pashmina. So yeah, 70% cashmere, and um, yeah, it's just a very like sky blue, like ombre, um, you know, might be something that somebody would want to throw into a bundle, or maybe I would do it as a lot of, um, of scarves. Uh, a kid's toy, like I said, I, I don't do too much with kid's toys, but um, this was a new with tags mini Easter themed um, mini. Uh, we've got Easter coming up, so hopefully this would be something that I could sell quickly. And I think we're coming to our final item. This is a Ikea hat. Um, you know, you've seen those iconic Ikea bags that everybody brings to Goodwill. Um, these have really good comps on eBay, so I think if you see one, you should pick them up. I think rain hats are coming back in the season. Alright guys, take care. There'll be more um, videos coming ahead on tips for shopping. You know, I'm not here to reveal my specific sources. We all live in different parts of the country and, you know, some Canada, some US, some UK. Um, but I think that there's ways that we can all work together to, um, to make good businesses for ourselves. And you know what? The used clothing and accessories and toys and... Um, markets are huge like there's there's always going to be more things you know and it's always better to have friends than than it is competitors all right guys take care